On the last one, we got through Morn Tunnel, Earth Borer Cave, and bought a tree, and yet we somehow survived, although I think, as tarnished, we more or less survive indefinitely and repeatedly, despite all of the failures of the person playing the game. I forgot to check the Church of Dragon Communion ritual thingy-majigger because... Well, we do have ourselves a dragon heart, but we don't have any of the requirements for these, so it's kind of like, you know, this stinks. But I was meaning to check this after we fought Flying Dragon Agil, and it does look like there's really not much we're going to be able to do with that. The other thing is, we found um, an Ash of War that I kind of wanted to take a look at, so Demi-Human Ashes. Spirits of Demi-Humans that are small in stature but have a violent, brutish disposition. Though they seem somewhat intelligent, when night falls, their blood boils and they become feral. I mean, that's, that's interesting. I mean, we have a bunch of ashes, and I don't know that we've really looked at all of them so much. And there's a, a part of me that kind of wants to summon them one by one just to take a look at them. But most of my experience has been with uh, using maybe the wolf or the jellyfish, and those being pretty good. Although I do kind of wonder if these guys might be okay. The Godric Soldier Ashes, I haven't bothered to use them. I think that more or less covers all the stuff that I wanted to get caught up on. So let's go to our first real destination of today. So we're back in the Tombsward Caverns, and before we get going, you might have, I don't know, if you paid attention to the number of runes we had when we ended the last one, you might be like, dude, where they all go? Well, that's, that's a great question. And basically the answer to that is, I went and bought a bunch of armor. So if you've been wondering, why has KIC been putting so many points into endurance? Well, this might be why. I don't know that I'm looking specifically to go with all this gear. I mean, it just was kind of like, uh, you know, we need some better armor for one. There's part of me that wants to just go with the the Night Greaves, because uh, that ends up giving us a fair amount of poise. That's actually not a bad look. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I love the helmet or the gloves. And technically, I'm using the scale armor, and that's what uh, I, I should probably show you what each of these are. So it's Iron Helmet, Scale Armor, Iron Gauntlets, and Godric Night Greaves. And I did not mean to get rid of those. So those were purchased, I can show you, from... The guy who is right here, we've seen him before, the Nomadic Merchant by the Rampart. We have seen him, so he's not anything new. I think we have a Stone Sword key we can use here. Sure, let's go ahead and unlock this room. We can see an item right in there. And, oh, we have Skellingtons. And I realize they're not in, but hey. Wow, these guys are going to be beefy. Mainly because this weapon is not good for dealing with them. Okay, are you good now? All right. I don't know, maybe those guys just are tanky. I'm not sure. So we got Nomadic Warriors Cookbook number nine. Let's go see what that one is because I don't remember. If you can actually remember what each of these cookbooks are. Um, where did I go? Did I go too far? then, you know, bully on you. There it is. Didn't go to the right place. So we can now make the Rancor Pot, which if we go to item crafting is going to be this one, Rancor Pot. Consumes FP, throw at enemies to spawn vengeful spirits that chase down foes. In times of old, the dead were burned with ghost flame, and from those cinders arose vengeful spirits. Vengeful spirit! Something like that. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's cool. I don't know. Um... Wow, so it takes grave violets and bone shards. Found by hunting those who live in death. I love that it tells you, by the way. I've never really paid too much attention to this. But I love that it tells you where to find the items. I mean, it doesn't give you the exact thing, but it gives you kind of an idea, which is cool. Like, that's seriously, that's really cool. 
If we look at this thing, it has a scaling of faith and intelligence, which means it's probably not going to be super useful for us. <laughs> we have neither faith nor intelligence. We are dumb as a rock and we believe in nothing. I still believe in nothing. Bum, bum. It's a Nevermore song, by the way, if you don't know. If you don't know, you don't know. Hey, I had a feeling I was not going to be fast enough to get that out. That's okay. So we're still using Keen as our current affinity on the Twin Blade. And that means it's a dex-based weapon. I'm just kind of checking these walls here. I don't think that there are any fakey walls in here, but there might be. I mean, I don't know. One of these days, I'm just going to have to look up all of the fake walls in this game. Although I just, I don't want to do it now because I don't want to spoil everything, you know? Oh, hi. I didn't even see where you came from. Where did you come from? I'm a little worried about being close to the wall. Okay, let's roll out of the way so we don't get hit by the arrows. Not sure if there's going to be anyone else over here. Hi, how you doing? I gotta say, by the way, the, the attack after roll is really cool because he does a, hi, a big upward swingy thing, which is pretty neat. Hi. We need to stop, and I need to ignore you so we can get this guy over here. How you doing, sir? Uh-oh. Oh, I love the twin blade when it works. It's just so good for grabbing groups of guys. Hi. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to get through here. I mean, I am just taking punishment. Seriously. I mean, I know I'm bad at this game, but geez louise, man. I'm going to blame my weapon and not my lack of skill. That seems like a thing, right? Let's keep going. Did we get that one? We got that one. I was looking at the flower, the plant, the crafting item, if you will. This wall looks suspicious. Okay. It's not, actually. Uh, hello. You. Okay. Probably another one on that side? No. That wall looks suspicious to me, as does this one. And then this guy looks... Okay, you're not... You're not gonna stand up. I thought you were. I'm pretty sure... I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I hear fire. I don't think we have a thing equipped. Do we have... We have a bow somewhere, right? Uh, sure. That'll work. Alright, let's switch to our bow. And I cannot see what I'm doing, so that should be... Oh my gosh. I think that hit? Yeah, that did hit. Oh my gosh, we are out of arrows. I mean, I don't think we're actually out of arrows, but we're out of arrows. Okay, we have some regular ones. That's fine. We're not really using the bow all that much, so I'm not super concerned about... Let me make sure we're still... No, nope, wrong one. That one. Make sure we're still medium load here. I mean, I know I have increased endurance probably more than really makes sense. But I am more or less trying to make sure that we're in a place where we can use some decent armor. And if we should find a better weapon or something or I don't know. I don't know that there will be a second twin blade somewhere. I mean, I know at some point there will be some sort of other things available, but... Um, just saying, I, I don't know. kind of want to be able to to use things. Hey. I thought I heard something, but I was really turning because I was more suspicious of the guys right behind getting up, not not someone already out and about and having a good time. Okay. Oh, that was total waste. Let that be a lesson to me that I have terrible aim. And I need to always auto-target, probably. Oh, these guys roll! Look at them roll! Oh, crap! Uh-oh. Oh, sucks to be you guys. Who just got wrecked by fire. Eh. All right, I'm going to wait a second and see if these guys get killed. One of the things I absolutely love about this game, and it's really, you know, the Souls games in general, is that... So long as the enemy dies, you get the souls, you get the runes, you get the blood echoes, you get the 
the spoils of their death. Ooh, rattling hate. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't matter if you were the one to do the killing. Oh, crap. I totally missed that. My bad. So long as they died, that's all that matters. Killing blow is meaningless. How you doing? You have no poise, so I will just swing wildly until you stop. I mean, seriously, I, I really kind of was swinging wildly there. Just like, la di da di da you're going to get hit eventually. I don't know, I just think it's really cool that the game doesn't really care. It's not about punishing you for not getting the killing blow, for not being the, you know, unstoppable force. If you use a little creativity, right, perhaps using the trap in the dungeon against your enemies, why shouldn't you be rewarded with that? I don't know. Or just if, for instance, you got a bunch of guys killing each other and they die as a the part of doing that, well, sure, we'll hook you up with some runes. I don't know. I just really like that. It's such a stupid little thing for me to harp on and talk about so much. But it really is an interesting game decision that I don't know. Uh, an interesting, I guess, game mechanic decision that I don't know that you see that in every other game. Maybe you do. Okay, door has opened. I'm going to go rest. We'll go down to the boss and see what's going on. I forgot to switch the talisman, so I switched it back to the axe one, which gives increased uh, power attacks. Oh, this guy. How you doing? Ow. Um, wolves, get his attention, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're still using team, as I had said before, so hello. That hurt. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to that guy. I, I do kind of wonder. Let's see. Let's maybe do one of those. Oh, totally whiffed. How about one of these? Oh, yeah. He does not like that. Oh, yeah. He really doesn't like that. Holy crap, dude. I did not realize that was going to happen. I... I sort of feel kind of bad, like I, I totally stole a fight or something. Uh, we got Lutel... What was it? Lutel the Headless? Is that what that was? It was an Ash of War. I know that much. Lutel the Headless. Legendary Ashen Remains. Spirit of a Headless Knight who leads the Mausoleum Soldiers. Wields a lance enrobed in death and hurls spectral lances at foes. Lutel sacrificed her life so that in death she could continue to protect a soulless demigod until their revival, earning her the hero's honor of Erd Tree Burial. That's intense. An 104 FP. Holy crap, dude. Like, I don't even think we're in the same neighborhood. We have 85 as our max. Yeah, one of these days I really do want to push mind a little more, I think. So back outside, here's a, a statue. This is going to literally show us the way to where we just were. Oh, I have to get off the horse to interact? Well, sure, why not? Just for the giggles. Oh, I cannot interact. Okay, never mind. I guess because the door is open, you cannot interact with it anymore. Uh, you might have noticed that somewhere along the way, I kind of changed my buttons around because I thought it was silly that, or my uh, summoning thing and all that, just because I thought it was kind of silly that I had to go into the menu to summon the horse, so I changed it around and I ended up moving a couple items onto the quick bar. And I don't know, we'll see how it works. I'm not I'm not necessarily sold on it specifically. It was really kind of an experiment. So putting the the fire pots and the kukri on the quick thing, I don't know. It seems like a good idea, because those are things that I do like to use, or at least I'm trying to use the kukri more. I shouldn't say I, I tend to use or like to use. I'm trying to use them a little more because I'm experimenting with them more than anything else. So we're just kind of rolling around here on the map. We're going to fill in the rest of this area and we have arrived at some ruins and look at that. My marker is almost spot on exactly where the downward area is here. Now it's going to be a little dark and for that I apologize, but hello. You 
seem very unfriendly. And we have um, fiery crossbow bolt. That seems rude. Oh, I was going to go for the, the stabby stab on that one. Perfumer's bolt. What in the crap is that? Perfumer's bolt. Let's see, where would our arrowy things be? Probably over here, under that one. Perfumer's Bolt. Bolt created with perfumer techniques used by nobles, guards, and the like. The point of impact explodes with sparks, dealing fire damage. Sounds kind of cool. We'll go ahead and pull out the torch now, because, you know, now that we have eliminated our enemies. Hello, chest. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Winged Scythe, or Winged Scythe, if you prefer. Once again, let's go into inventory and find this thing. Uh, where are you? You are right there. Sacred Scythe resembling a pair of white wings deals holy damage. According to pagan belief, white-winged maidens are said to be death's gentle envoys. It has a unique skill of angel's wings. Jump and imbue the wing blade of the armament with light, then deliver a slashing attack on the enemy. The White Wings impede recovery actions using a Flask of Tears. Now, the thing is, I don't know what that last part means, impedes recovery actions using a Flask of Tears, because uh, if I'm going to be honest here, I've used this weapon in my game with, with uh, my friends, and it is ridiculously cool. Very strong weapon. I mean, you know, I only have it upgraded a couple of times, but... Uh, I like it a lot. It's very fun. But I don't know what it means that it stops actions. Like, that's that's a whole thing. Like, I don't get. Anyway, let us keep going uh, this way. There should be a jail over here. We can see it on the map. I mean, if you know the marking by now, it's this guy right here. We're going to run over it, and it's going to turn into a jail location on the map. Hello, guys. How you doing? Okay, Weeping Everjail, and it looks like it's going to cost one sword, one stone sword key to unlock. And there's a Stake of America right there in case you die, apparently. And we're just going to keep on going this way, and it looks like we have ourselves a church up here. And I see some dudes over there. We'll ignore them for the moment. Or we won't. Yeah, we will. We'll ignore them for the moment and talk to uh, this person over here if we can. I'm a little concerned about those bats coming over here and causing problems. Oh, there it is, the tower. Finally, I can return to our home bathed in rays of gold. So he's clearly looking this way. And there is a tower up on the hill. Okay. That's your tower, apparently. And you are going to return. They're bathed in rays of gold or something. Uh, these guys are all coming back. Let's go horsey horse. Because if I'm going to start a fight with a bunch of guys, I think I'd rather... Oh my gosh, the bats. I'd rather be on horseback. Do, 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 do. I'm going to lose my horse and my life. That's great. Here, let's keep uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. These guys are the problem. I mean, seriously, they're just obnoxious. Okay. Are we good now? I feel like we're good. Let's see what we can do with these guys. Hi. Huh? Ah! Oh yeah, that worked just fine. I never do the combo attack with with the power, the t combos with power attacks, I'm trying to say. Holy cow, that did not come out easily for me. I mean, normally, because it just, you know, doesn't seem to work very well, but... Oh, denied. Good headless sir. Denied. Okay. Let's go in here at the fourth Church of America. Is there not a statue in here? Aha. There it is. And there's also a grace 
So it should be pretty quiet in here then if that's the case. Let's grab this guy first. How you doing? Sacred tear, and that probably means we have a conversation with Melina. No, we don't. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and upgrade our flask. Now plus four. We really don't have a conversation with Melina. Okay. Okay. Color me um, weirded out by that, I guess. Surprised? I don't know. Whatever the word is. Surprised, weirded out, etc. Let's go ahead and call Torrent back. And we're just going to take a quick tour of the general area here before we get moving on. Actually, this is probably a good time to go down. Let's go down to the beach. This is kind of an interesting place. Like, it really is. It's, um, I don't even know what to make of all of this. It's just kind of madness. So there are just bodies everywhere. I mean, look at this. There's just bodies everywhere, shipwrecks, all sorts of things. So I'm guessing probably a bunch of sailors. I don't know. They've all uh, washed ashore and now they're, I don't know, walking around in death. Pseudo death. I don't know. It's just very interesting. It's just shipwreck after shipwreck. And these guys are just everywhere. I mean, we'll go a little further back the other direction and go say hi to all of them. And then when you come over here, you got a lot of birds, which, as it happens... Oh, hi. I mean, I feel kind of terrible about this. But if you can get some stuff off them, I mean, there's, there's some good stuff to farm from these guys. I mean, maybe. If you can kill them, that is. That was not the fast way to kill them, or even the effective way to kill them, for that matter. There's a little something down here by all the little guys, so we'll go grab that. Golden rune number two. Tier two, that's fine. Gonna ignore these land octopi, because I really don't care about them. They're just way too annoying. Did I hear... I thought I heard something. Can I... Oh, hi, how you doing? I don't even know where I'm at right here. Okay. Uh, we don't need that guy, so you can you can roll away in safety. It's fine. You're just a red one, so we don't need that. It's right behind the Ever Jail is where that is. Okay. I don't think I knew that was there. Um, I love how they leave behind the little sparkly light so that you know something was there. In case you didn't hear it, didn't see it. It's like, oh yeah. Okay, so what I need to do then is reload this area, come back in and look over here and see if I can find whatever was there. It's kind of cool. So as we come a little further south on the beach here, you can see this is where everyone is gathered primarily. There's just a bunch of dudes over here and uh, some crabs in the list too. So a golden rune one, and there's really not anything else out here. I mean, I guess if you had... Um, a nice area of attack, area of effect spell. That would be a pretty decent thing to use there. And then we're going to circle back right here first, and then we're going to turn back to the graveyard area over there that you could just kind of see briefly. So let's activate our grace first, and we don't need to do anything with it beyond that. We've already sat. Hello, good Whoa. sir. It's been an age since I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? I think it's interesting. This guy has a mask that covers their entire face. That's just interesting. So this is one thing that I desperately wanted to buy so that I could stop being awful to you and uh, stop having to use a torch in my left hand. Oh, yes. Yes, we want all of those, and I probably want to buy the Stone Sword Keys, too. But I'll leave them for now. I'll come back on my own and buy them when I remember. And uh, here, we might just buy some arrows real quick to have a few in storage. There, there we go. That's fine. 50 of them is going to be enough for now. Have a safe journey. Uh, I will try. You do the same, good sir. Or have a safe not journey. Whatever. I don't know. Have a safe. There you go. 
before I forget and we get too far, let's go ahead and I'm going to remove that because I now no longer want and or need that. Oh, hmm. Maybe we'll put it right here. So where is our lantern? We need to take a look at that too. So a small waste-worn lantern that illuminates surroundings. Use once to turn on and again to turn off. While its light is dimmer than that of a torch, it has the advantage of freeing up the user's hands. That thing is like straight out of Bloodborne in my mind. I'm sure it exists in the other, in more than one other FromSoft game. I don't know, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I think Bloodborne when I see that. And I think, yes, please. Let me go up here right quick if I can. I think we have to go a little further down. I believe I'm thinking of a different church. Maybe the one we were last at. Um, previous episode. Yeah, this, is, this isn't what I was thinking of. So I was thinking there was an area right outside of it. Where there, were, there would be some uh, mobs and some stuff. It's not quite the place I was thinking of. But let's go ahead and go down here. And we see a poison bloom growing right there. So that tells us that this is indeed, hello, a uh, bad area to be walking around in. And we need to move, we need to move. So basically, if you walk around in here, you are going to... Um, I sort of got it in time. Don't kill me while I'm on the ground. Oh crap, I shouldn't be rolling. Don't roll and roll and roll when you're in poison. That is bad news. Let's go ahead and heal real quick. We should be good. We didn't get enough of the poison on us to really do anything. These guys are just crazy. Look at them. Okay. But if we do a spinning power attack, kind of echoing what they do, it seems to do a pretty good job of stopping them. And if not, you just, you know, pull their attack and then let them knock themselves down. Look at this dude. He's got like multiple bows. Like that's just cheating, dude. That is super cheating is what that is. Okay. I'm gonna grab another poison bloom here and we're just gonna kind of look around and see if we're missing anything else. Looks like there's something on corpse here. Great dragonfly head. I'm gonna say that's all of them because we did get our flask refilled as a result of killing that last guy there. And then I just, again, looking to make sure we haven't missed any any items to pick up. Another skull, I mean, I will gladly take a free 200 runes. I mean, I'm sure at some point 200 is gonna feel like nothing, but right now, I'm good with that. So let's go downstairs here. Got ourselves a door. I'm sitting here scrolling through my thing looking for the lantern when I forgot already I put it in a different spot. That looks like, um, what's her name? It will do no good, I swear it. And yet you persist, you frothing degenerates! So I guess she doesn't know what's going on because we're not doing anything to her and yet she seems to think we are. I mean, I was trying to get a look around here. Oh, I keep forgetting to go by the telescope, dang it. She's clearly got something going through her, her wrists here that's impaling her to this wall. Never mind the crystal growth around it, around her wrists, her hands too. But that's, um... Shoot, I can't think of her name. She's over here, though. Sorceress Selen. So we've talked with her. But I guess 
we haven't talked with her? I mean, the question is, is she still over here? It looks like she's still over there. Um, let me bounce over there right quick, because I'm just, I'm curious. So she is here, but how is she in two places? Unless it's not her. Young apprentice, first things first. You are a tadpole when it comes to magic. Infantile. Without the legs to walk. So, to become a sorcerer, first, you must face your ignorance. Now, shall we start learning? Okay. Um, she doesn't have any new dialogue, I guess, so... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to make of that. So we're back at the merchant. That's literally where we just were, is right there on the other side of those uh, rock thingy majiggers. And we're gonna head up that way to the tower. Now, in the previous episode, we were right up there where the Erd tree is. So we've been in this general vicinity. We just didn't come down to this particular portion of the peninsula. But uh, I think we're going to get everything in this area today. We'll finish off and get everything in this area today. How you doing? Um, you. Okay, you guys, I don't mind if you guys want to all come play. I don't know that we really have a need to fight them. I just sometimes feel a burning need to run around and attack everyone, I guess. Kind of a jerk that way, a little bit of a sociopath. Everyone must die. Oh, hello. Go ahead and... Yo, hello. Watch where you're throwing those things. So there's someone up there throwing fire pots. Let's get up there and deal with that person first. How you doing? Oh, thanks. Go ahead and take whatever you're throwing. Smoldering butterfly. So, oh, hello. There's one up there, too. Ah! Okay, uh, we probably need to go up this way is my guess. I see a ballista up there. And the ballista is now looking this direction. That's good news. That's good news. Let's get up here so we can deal with this guy. Hi. I can climb, I promise. I know you can do it, Torrent. Who's a good, uh, weird horse spirit type thing? Torrent is, that's who. And let's go... We got a steak of America here, so I guess the game figures you're gonna eat it by ballista. I'm gonna go around here first before we go up there, because it might be a, a good idea to not go fight with a ballista. You're the alpha, and I have managed to miss with almost every swing. That's fantastic. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Where's the next one? Oh, you are all shiny eyes. Look at you. 348 runes for killing a wolf. Man, that's some good pickings. I will not complain about that at all. That is very good. And I like the boast, the boast beans. The boast beans, because, you know, make some arrows and stuff. Some throwing darts if we run out of kukri or anything. I mean, I suppose we could just go buy more. We could buy another, uh, I don't know, 10? Just from that one wolf alone, basically. Maybe 11? So we're getting some runes here. A one, a three, a one. Two. Another one. I mean, all this stuff is free. I'm, I am very pleased with that. That's, that's a good, like, I don't know, 2,000 runes right there, maybe? I'm not sure. Something along those lines. I mean, we've barely used what we have, and we've collected lots and lots of stuff at this point. I want to see if I can get up here without triggering Ballista Boy up there. Oh. I meant to swing one more time. My bad. I feel terrible about that. Okay, we'll just go ahead and heal right quick. How you doing? Ow! You are toast. And we're gonna leave those guys down there. We'll get them, uh... We can get them in a minute. Oh, no, there is a thing over there. Well, here, let's... 
Let's be SMRT first. This is going to be annoying, but uh, it's fine. It'll be fine. Okay, that was a nice climb. Now, before we open that chest, I'm going to go back down. I kind of want to find this guy. There we go. Oh, dang it. I was hoping that I could uh, get things going on him first. Hi. And you. Oh, you should have been dead. Or at least knocked down. I wonder if Golden Vow saved him, because I think that's what he used there. Okay, you are toast. And then we'll just bash on your shield. Hi, how you doing? That worked out just fine. Ooh, Gilded Great Shield. Okay. How you doing? And then, are these the guys that were over there? I guess they are. Most of them are. Go ahead and kill you. I was trying to do what I, I like to do with the, uh, the horse guys. And just didn't work with the other dudes nearby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is nice. And I'm not even two-handing the weapon like I'm supposed to be. My bad. That might have been part of the problem. Let's, let's blame it on that. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and get back up there. In fact, here, let's do it this way. Because I want to see if there's anything up here. Nope. Mm, does not look like it. That's fine. That's just, you know, worth checking. I was just looking around and it dawned on me. I think there's still some stuff we, we haven't been to. So let's drop down here. And there's a corpse over here. How you doing? Um, I'm just going to stand on you. Don't mind me. Got a mushroom, four of them from that guy. How you doing? Random bat over there. Crap, there's another one. I didn't see you. Hi. Nope. I'm just going to swing wildly until I hit you. It will happen eventually. Okay, thanks for that. And keep going on around the edge over here, see if there's anything else. I don't think there are any more caves or anything over here, but I do see in the middle of the water there, near all of the octopi. Oh, and there's also um, those guys. Okay, too. Great, 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 great. I do see that there is. Oh, my gosh some sort of thing in the water here. Oh, it's a red one. Well, that doesn't matter. I feel like I need to finish the, the kill now. And then I want to grab all these gold fireflies. So I'm going to grab you. Those will have a use, which we can look at in just a moment. Do, 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 do. I think we have bought the cookbook. If we haven't, then all well, these are a waste of your time and mine both. At least right now. They won't be in the future. And I think we're all good, and now let's really go climb up that tower and open the chest. My goodness. I lied, I remembered one more thing. Oh, hi, how you doing? Let's get rid of you. You just have to listen for a second. Uh oh 
they know we're here. So that, whatever that thing is over there, I mean, it's not a regular bat. It's not like one of these guys. Uh, she was over there. She, I want to say she was over there singing. Not sure what you're singing about, but can I throw one of those and hit you with it? Okay. Oh, you're coming back. I have no idea if this thing is going to be super dangerous or what. So it seems to me like starting off with a, a fire pot is a good idea. Or at least, I don't know, something something ranged. Hi, how you doing? Oh, you're pretty tanky. But if you're just going to stand there, I'm okay with that. And there's the hemorrhage. Golden Rune 6. Yikes. And a sliver of meat that they were singing over that body. Okay, now, really? Let's go get whatever was up in that tower. I've already forgotten why I cared about it and why I was waiting. Okay, before we go to the tower, and I really promise this is not something I'm doing intentionally, it dawned on me we hadn't come around and checked out the middle area here yet, so... We gotta do that before we we go anywhere else. And I kind of want to play with this thing. Like, I know this is the Wandering Mausoleum. But I don't really know what it does. So, I don't know. It's kind of a thing. But there's definitely... I didn't mean to do that, my bad. There's definitely like a bunch of buildings over here. Or fallen buildings, the ruins of some such. And I thought we should probably check out over here just to make sure there's not... Oh, there's a grace right here, I see. I see the grace, I see the light. We should probably check everything out, make sure there's, uh, you know, not stuff we're missing, because this would be a super handy grace to have right here. Look at this. This one's right basically at the base of the plateau, right under the tree, so that's a pretty handy one if you're trying to get somewhere over here, maybe. So we'll do our due diligence and pick up mushrooms, and as a matter of fact, while I'm thinking about it, make some more of those guys. We have some fire pots. I do like having those handy. I still can't believe the damage it did on that one guy. I mean, absolutely just face rolled that guy. It was great. It was really good stuff. Okay, I'm not seeing a whole lot over here, so this is going to be the ruins that we have been at this. And then let's see if there's anything up on top of this. It does not look like it. Just some of the little fragments. So this is where we were when we got the scythe, right? This is where the scythe was. Oh, we did miss a beast liver over here, though. Look at that. Oh, and there's some uh, lilies over here, too. Wow, I did a terrible job of going through this place. Like, I didn't, basically. I saw a downward path, I took it, and I literally forgot to do anything else. Okay, it doesn't look like we can get up to the top of that side, at least. I do wonder if there's anything up there, like if you can manage to get up there. And we'll just kind of keep wandering around here and see if there's anything down and around here. There are some lilies, so that was definitely worth it, I think. So you can use those for some crafting. It looks like maybe... Can we get up there? I don't think we can from right here. I do see a skull up there, though. That makes me think that we can wander around up there. Utel would be, I guess, the head of guarding these things, which we see that all these headless dudes. Um, where was I looking at? Right here, I guess? Is this where I was looking? Yeah, because there's the skull right there. Aha! Look at that. I knew there would be something else around here. So what do we have here? The Tomb's Word Cave. Didn't we... What did we do? We did the Tomb... We did Tomb's Word... We did the Tomb's Word Catacombs, but not the Tomb's Word Cave. Okay. So, let's light that grace, so to speak. And then, we'll come back to this one another time. Uh, maybe, yeah, probably another time. Because I think we've done so much wandering around today that there's just not enough time left to do that one. Because I really want to go back up to that tower, and we got to call it good. Okay, back at the top of the tower. Let us open this thing, finally. And be ensnared in a transporter trap. Hooray! I do kind of wonder how many traps there are in the game. There's a grace just ahead. 
So it said this is Leandell Capital, right? And I just want to look around right quick and try not to fall off the ledge. I'm going to guess that's... No, maybe not. I was going to say maybe that's a lift that goes down, but... Maybe uh, there's a lift down there. I can see the switch in the middle, so... Somehow we can get down there, but man, look at this place. Look at that tree. Look at that thing. That is monstrous. Guessing that's maybe the biggest tree in the game, because this is the capital. And these dragons over here. Are these dragon statues? Are these... Are these corpses? Do they turn to stone when they die? Like, what is going on here? Oh, there's a dude way out there. You can see him patrolling. He's got, like, a big axe or something. There's someone in front of that door, too. Again, if I would have remembered to buy the telescope, we could look at these things slightly closer. Instead, I didn't, so we won't. I'm gonna guess, uh, yeah, we can't even interact with that. It doesn't do anything. Okay, that's fine. There's a pile of uh, some statue that fell over here or something. Multiples of those guys. I mean, man, this place is just amazing looking. It's so cool. It's very interesting. Let's go ahead and activate this grace. That's going to remove our grace block, I believe. We should now be able to teleport. No? Oh, we have to rest first. Let's do that. Okay, we can now teleport again, but before we do that, let us keep looking around. And we cannot use torrent here, that's fine. There is a golem right here. Based on the looks of this guy, he is going to stand up. And that'll be a good time for everyone. Let's, um... Let's go target him. Oh, man. Just to be clear, we are 100% out of our league here. And that's okay. Because I have a strategy with these guys. It's to basically do that until they fall down. This guy has a ton of health. Um, and I totally whiffed on that one. I don't know that we can take this guy out. Ow. Probably not. I should probably not be doing this. Uh oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, I saw that one coming too. Alright, just for giggles, I'm going to try this again. Okay. Um, which way did you fall down? I can't really tell. It looks like this way. I think we could probably do more damage by not going for the crit here, but... That's okay. All you got to do is just keep staggering these guys. And it'll eventually solve the problem for you. Don't miss like that. And don't get hit like that. Oh, you know what would have been a good idea right there is using the, the physic. Let's see if we can use this guy to get some... Oh, bye now. Increased damage. Yeah, you have reach. Congratulations. I mean, that kind of feels like cheating. Ow. Okay, you can do your thing. And you're going to get knocked down right here, which is going to be absolutely useless for us. But it's fine. It's damage. I just wanted to get a little in. Uh, sure. 
Let's go ahead and get him in the belly if we can. Doesn't really look like it. That was great. He should be knocked down in a second here. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get a stabby stab on you. And I think this guy's toast. Yeah. Oh, no, you're not. I mean, now you are. Okay. Whew. I mean, those guys are not that big a deal. I don't mind them. I've kind of gotten used to them. Um, this way. <laughs> I got all turned around. Like, so long as you stand at their feet and you're able to get your attacks off pretty quickly, it's not that big a problem, I don't think. Go ahead and grab our runes. This is a sending gate, it looks like, but it says it cannot be used now. And just kind of looking, like, is it going to send right up to the, the steps there to that building? Is that where it's going to go? Is it going to go into the tree? Is it going to go to this other building right here on the right? I don't know where that's going to send to, assuming it ever does work. But we didn't really get anything as a reward for killing that guy. I mean, we got some runes, but we will go and grab this chest. The Blessed Dew Talisman. So let us go ahead and take a look at that. Talisman depicting a drop of the Erd Tree's sap, a blessed boon. Gradually restores HP. It was once thought that the blessed sap of the Erd Tree would drip from its boughs forever. But that age of plenty swiftly be yeah, that age of plenty swiftly came to a close, and with time, the Erd Tree became more of an object of faith. Well, we'll go ahead and equip that now and just kind of to watch. So 461, three. Looks like it's about two health per second, roughly, something like that. Maybe very slightly faster than that, two health every like 0.8 or 0.9 seconds, something. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with that. And that might be the talisman we roll with for a while because uh, I'm not really feeling any of the others are great. Although the charge attack one there was very helpful. We'll catch up on the next one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.